Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Count Christo. This is Song, Songs of Six, and we are just about to start uh, expanding, expanding our marvellous empire. We have some administrators working here. We have nine administration, I think. Looks like these guys are making... Okay, no, we currently have 0 0.33, and we can make up to 33, I believe, is what that's telling me. And we have a bunch of homeless people, apparently. A bunch of homeless humans. Why is that? Well, don't need to diagnose the problem to fix it in some cases, so... Let's just crank up a bunch of these... Upgrade a bunch of these houses, see how that does. It's getting there. Hmm. The insects have so much more furniture than everyone else, just because they're so much easier to accommodate. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess another... Another aisle of, of human housing would be fine. Sorry, are these apartments? No, those, those weren't apartments. They were longhouses. Why did it say apartment? Anyway, get that done. <clears throat> get some roadage built. Let's come across to here. Good. Hopefully that should solve that problem. Any other species having issues? Yeah, a couple of insects. Right, the new miners up here. Fair enough. <clears throat> Let's just dig out a bunch of this. Just yoink out all of that. We, we have very few odd jobbers right now, basically because of the massive amount of work we created by sending them on to university. But people are trending towards the goals we set. In fact, you can see the Praetorians are already fully educated. So I think if I look in here, yeah, there'll be no, no Praetorians in here doing their doing their work okay so what i'm gonna do i think before i up, up anyone else's amount of education is i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna wait for everyone in the university to be for the, for the university to actually be less than 253 52 people and then up it slightly i like how they make their houses look different based on it like this is look the elves have this kind of tiled flooring um these guys haven't got much furniture so it's not a good example these guys the uh Bondorians and humans have a kind of stone aspect and then look at this the insects have these funny gravelly floors anyway uh meat yeah looking pretty good okay we're getting some decent cash you know what we should do though because if we're doing if we're going to be buying places we need more money so what are we not selling right now um right now we're not selling any herbs okay let's sell some herbs coal i guess i can check on this screen can't i yeah we're selling coal we're not selling stone, but we really have a big surplus of stone. Same for wood. Yeah, our net on wood is not great, to be honest, at the moment. We might want to set up yet another uh, wood chopper area. That's what they're called. Wood choppers. I will take no questions. Uh, build it up like this. Bang. Good. <clears throat> they should at least stave off the problem for a bit we'll just dot these access the auxiliaries around the place and uh we will road our way to it okay um i like i like how symmetrical it is when you zoom out and look at all the people in the university that's fun cool all right and then look at them all going home after the after a hard day at university or spidering out that's really satisfying very cool. Okay, still some homeless insects down here. Okay. You are not all upgraded, I don't think. No. Bang. That should solve your problems. Human. Still not quite ready. Ah, oh, because I haven't upgraded these. There we go. And these aren't designated, are they? No, this is just miscellaneous housing. I don't really want insects living here, though. Especially not all mining insects. You should be all the way over here. So, yeah, I mean... There should only be humans, mostly, around here. Let's go, um, at least all of these and these are human housing. We do want some, um, quite a few, actually, Cretorians around here as well. I really wish, in fact, actually, I'm going to, you know, what? I'm going to go and post this in the feedback right now. I really wish you could say this housing is for this race or this race. All right, there we go. Suggestion made. Cool, so everyone housed? No, some bugs here still are housed right, because I never actually increased it. There we go. 
strongly suspect that will be sufficient. And you know what? Kujan is just so happy. Just give me some more of you. Just for the odd jobbers, honestly. And this is a dire, dire area. You guys should have a uh, dire path straight down to your workplace, ideally. Look at all these busy gem miners. 1.2 thousand gems. What are we actually consuming it on? Just maintenance, right, of the courts and things. Law is dipping a little bit. Our arrest rate is only 33%. Let's put a little a little guard post by the, the gem miners. You know, just keep him honest. And then, you know, this area generally is pretty well covered. What about the fishermen? Yeah, okay, that's not a bad idea. Let's put one out here. Just three. Just to make sure the fishermen don't get any funny ideas. All oh, right, and the university, yeah, university's covered. I mean, it's pr we're pretty well covered. Oh, I never put one up here, okay. Yeah, guard post in there is definitely a good idea. And then up here we did one, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good coverage now. Bit of screen flashing incoming, sorry about this. Ooh, we have a lot of lunatics right now. <clears throat> I will work on that in a second. We have uh, yeah, 13 lunatic insects. Where are my lunatics being dealt with again? Here they are. Okay. Asylum 1. Congratulations. You're getting expanded. Dramatically. Chunk. Chunk. Hopefully we can fit people in here. Yep, good. Uh, can't really fit it that well here, but that should work. There we go. Yeah, we don't need to create room for the number that we're currently lacking, remember? We just need enough that we don't get a deficit in the future. Uh, that should be enough, I think. Cool. More than double. Slightly more than double. Um, the amount there, so that's good. Okay. So now I think it's finally time to actually go out into the world and say, Hey, people around me. First off, how do you like me? They all like me. I wonder what, I wonder if orange is like <clears throat> likelihood of attacking. I don't know. We can see, by the way, numbers of soldiers. Oh, these guys are really weak, actually. Is that their only little bit of land? Maybe we just conquer them then, actually. I have no idea how that works. Okay, so I think what we should do first is just save. But I think we can conquer two of our neighbors. Because um, these guys and these guys, I hadn't realized. We've been, we're improving with these three factions, like they're kind of equal. Um, but they're not. This is the only one that's even remotely significant. These guys have 1.5 thousand population. These guys have 800,000. Sorry, it's 800, 766. So we outnumber them quite significantly. So let's, um, let's take our emissaries off these guys and put them all on him. This is the only place they matter right now. <clears throat> uh, and let's let's try conquering. Let's see what happens. The difficult, the, the downside of conquering these guys is we'll border new people, right? So we can. I mean, the map is. Can I can I make this map bigger? What, what do these buttons do? Oh, it just takes a screenshot. Okay. We're gonna border this guy, Krondenda, and this guy, Sumia. So where are they in this list? So yeah, here they are. So they're a lizard people ruler. And see, they have like 9,000 soldiers. They hate us. Why do you hate me so much? It's interesting. But we can try and work on like getting them to like us in the future, I guess. I think, I think we should start trying to expand. I mean, I don't know how well it will work. Um, maybe I should be trying to expand in a way that doesn't give me big new borders to the south before we've kind of taken over this northern section. So maybe this is the guy I'll focus on first, and we'll just see how our relations are with this guy. Because I feel like this guy, ooh, Cordelia. Cord yeah, Cordelia. Cordelia has 4,500 soldiers. <laughs> and does not like us. Um, they don't like our wealth. Well, we should spend our wealth then. But anyway, these guys. Yeah, let's uh, let's raise an army. 
I can go conquer them. And I think we're going to conquer them with mercenaries because I can't send out my troops because we don't have enough drink and clothes in supply depots. So we're going to we're going to conquer them with mercs is the hope. This can be enough people. I think it probably will. Especially because there's a bunch of the Dondorians. And we have the money for this. So here they all are. Uh, let's do it. And do I need to like... Hello. War. I still have I still have emissaries on you. Don't do that. I thought I told him to not do that. I swear I did. Vesterians, you haven't got any anymore? Yeah, good. So I sent them all to you. Good. Let's go and let's go and investigate some of this guy's other <clears throat> Oh, he's quite small actually. I hadn't realized. He doesn't go far east. Go south of it though. Like this place. Let's try and figure out what's going on there. And then maybe we can uh make moves for there next. Since an emissary is out here. Okay, but our men are are marching along. Four hundred of them. We outnumber these guys pretty heavily. Uh let's declare war on them. Hello. Uh, we declare war. Do you have any allies? I don't think allies are a thing. We declare war. We intercept them, and we can auto-resolve and lose five men. Easy victory. We steal some stuff off them. Good, including some clothes and armor. And send it home. Let's go besiege their settlement. And we can see the, uh, the spoils are bound home. Bound for home. Cool. Alright, well, I mean, speed it up. Oh, they set up a new one. So we're besieging. So yeah, you can see, even though we outnumber them loads, if we attack now, we we lose badly. So we'll wait. Do, 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 do. I don't know how long we have to wait for. Let's just wait, like, a day? Or something? Are they raising a new army? They are trying to, okay. Siege? No. Still, still longer to wait. Alright, we'll wait more. <clears throat> yeah, I would like to... Yeah, start expanding, because I've never, like I said, I've never played with it before. I think it's a good way. Oh, okay. We can, uh, they're attacking us. We have a garrison. Let's, uh, let's actually just engage, just because, you know, it's our first ever conquest. I don't think, you don't fight, like, in their city or anything. The game doesn't try to, like, model what other, other civilization cities look like. That would be, that would be quite an ask. Where are they? Here they are. Okay, cool. It's a very... <laughs> Very strange shaped mountain they have up there. Look at that, it's like there's a huge... Ah, oh, I guess it creates a map and then creates space to make sure you have room to fight in it. Okay, all of you. You come down here. You start. Your orders are to charge in here. Oh wait, hang on, are some of you archers? Oh, they all... No, two... They all have bows. Some of them have weapons as normal weapons as well. Alright, line up here. You two. Excuse me. Shift. You and you. Can I hold space to see where people are going? I can. Good old total war controls. Okay. Oops. Go here. Good. Move fast. Okay. Do they not have any archers? Projectiles blocked by terrain. They're on fire at will. Some of them are going to start firing soon. You guys spread out a bit. Cover our flanks. Okay. Well, I mean, no, we'll just let them charge. Battle is joined. Do we have better? We have slightly better weapons. But they have a lot more armor. I think I might need to send my arch. I mean, these archers need to start firing, kind of urgently, because they don't have any weapons. So if they don't, treachery fought by terrain. Can you fire now? I think they can. All right, you guys, get get down here. You guys firing? They don't seem to be firing. Come around here. <laughs> I think we're losing pretty badly right now. Should have auto-resolved, man. It's okay. Salvageable. Would you please start firing your freaking bows? I guess they have to be like nowhere near any trees. Doesn't seem very realistic. Fire your freaking bows, man. Fire at will. Fire, dude. Oh, these guys fired once. Okay. Alright, we're actually firing the bows now. But as soon as they attack us, we're in big trouble. 
Ah, but we seem to have gone. Okay. <laughs> the battle mechanics, you know, they're not what this game is all about. That's fine. <clears throat> cool. We win. So now we... Oh, they were attacking us. Okay, so continue besieging. Seriously? All right, yeah, assault. Boom. So now we can occupy and incorporate into your realm, leave it settlement to its fate, controlled by rebels, or install a puppet regime. And you can go merciful. You can sack. We'd get two million. Wow. Or you can annihilate. Uh, so you get more resources if you are more harsh. But no, we're going to do. We're going to be merciful. So this would be a good way to go slaving in the future. We just be to roam around annihilating and then stealing loads of captives if we wanted to do that. But we're going to incorporate into our realm. Okay, so here it is. Right. <laughs> so Ixben is our new settlement. Uh, it has some Kretorians, some Dondorians, some Gathrimri, some humans, very few Amavians, and some Talathi. Okay. And their loyalty is quite high. And they have some factors. Anemonism, Shalomorism, and army presence is currently the reason they're so loyal. Okay, basically it's just all army presence. Interesting. These guys are manically loyal because of army presence. I guess because they're just badly outnumbered. There's literally one of them, okay. Uh, okay. And these are the religions they follow. They're mostly Arthurians. It's pretty proximate to our capital, which means they're more loyal. It's pretty healthy. I can get potentially 78 conscripts here. And it has no garrison. It's about 40% fertile. And it's mostly cold and a bit temperate as well okay so i can demand more tribute up to 700 base uh, okay and the death rate the devastation is six percent okay um it's got build points it's got a huge negative of build points huge negative of available workforce and a huge negative administration jesus it takes 117 administration to govern this place okay um and these are the buildings it has builders add build points to a region the highest tier building add build points to your whole empire okay so it takes admin and workforce to do these things so basically we need to downgrade a bunch of these buildings because we're, we're horrendously short on build points in my understanding so let's I mean, let's let's save because I'm gonna. I'm sure I'm gonna get this wrong, and I'd like to be able to kind of experiment and test. But they have some irrigation. What does it do? Between one and one point three percent bonus for a bunch of farms and things. Okay. Um, all right. So let's remove. Let's remove everything that's productive. Mm, in a way that's not really kind of necessary. So we don't need hatcheries right now. We should leave some breeders, but let's let's try and make it <clears throat> less diverse, because it'll probably be easier to manage. There's a big temple of Arthuri. Let's remove the other temple, because it clashes with other religions. <clears throat> we definitely don't need a stone mine. Still, still like farcically short on stuff. Temporal authority is a hundred admin. Okay, because this is oh, because this is a really high level. Okay, no, this is unreasonable. Uh, yeah, give me, give me a much lower level. We'll, we'll leave a little temple. I assume you need to like give them enough food. I don't know how that is kind of calculated. Let's unpause at a slow pace. Well, we can see we have one region under our control now. Okay. Some loud eating noises going on right now. So we have some police officers, tax collector. We don't need a tax collector. So we're not we, we want to get this place functioning first. Baths, some more health. Let's speed things up. Yeah, what's going on? The Dondorian population is dropping. Probably because I got rid of something. And their loyalty is <clears throat> dropping across the board because the army presence is the only prince is going up, actually. Okay. 
Opposition. Yeah, famine of opposition. Devastation's gone down. Master of Industries passed. Let's uh, can make a new one. Okay, so what is the plan here? So their, their loyalty is good. Their support is low. So then does it... Does it export this stuff to me? Is that how this works? I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm looking at. Um... We can persecute, exile, or massacre different populations. I right, don't want to do that. The loyalty is 100. So if you tax them, what are they paying me? Is it cash? Because there's minerals. This, these are like the deposits that exist in the region, I guess. There's a trade caravan bound for there? What? Are we sending them stuff? Let's see, that, that 8,000 wood? Like, are we getting anything from them? Maybe when we demolished their buildings, we got a bunch of wood out of them. But how does that work? Like, firstly, are these are these soldiers being too expensive? These mercenaries, they're not they're not terribly expensive. I think we're probably okay for a bit anyway. I want them to stick around so that this place stays loyal. <clears throat> Okay, so the workforce is provided just by population. And the build points is provided by the buildings. By the builders. And I can't upgrade it because I don't have enough workforce. So I need to free up some workforce. Uh, well, coal is going to be a problem for us in the fullness of time. Or we have a lot of ore. So let's remove that. Now we have some positive workforce. Still can't do this because we have negative admin. What else have we got here? Travelling doctors. A fighting pit. I think bits are quite expensive. What, are they, what does it give us? It doesn't seem to give us anything. Effects. It can give loyalty, but but as a matter of fact, isn't. Probably because we're on negative admin. Stand. It could give us loyalty, but why why isn't it? Maybe it's because we have negative build points, and hence can't actually maintain all this stuff. Okay, that's my guess. So let's remove like the baths. We could do with some mushroom farming, but we don't need we don't need grain farming. We don't need this. I'm assuming that the locals have no needs. Like I don't know, I don't know how the locals' needs work. Like there seems like nothing in here that makes them happy is based on them needing to eat. So I guess they're they're self-sustaining, and then this is additional stuff basically, like stuff to make them happy or stuff to export properties. They still have huge negative build points. Why can't I do this? The short admin still. Let's build some more admin buildings. Let's build a lot more admin buildings. And see if we can uh, see if we can get things under control here. Chunk, not quite. Chunk. Good. And then what was that? Seven gaps, isn't it? One, two, three. I'll just shrink it down. To match that. There we go. Give me a bunch more clerks. Clerks. Clerks and clerks, is that the same word? <laughs> Maybe that's a bit of an ignorant question, but... <laughs> I think those are the same word, right? Just pronounced differently? <laughs> what do they mean different things? Give me some shelves. Down here. Should give us pretty good efficiency, and then we can make up the rest with carpets. Yeah, like alongside the central thing. Good. Even looks nice. And a tiny bit more carpentry just by the entrance. Sure. And a door here. Bang. Was that 56 extra workers? Okay. Humans. Give me another 50 humans. <clears throat> Give me a, a road, not there, and not a dirt road, fine road. Oh, they are doing a fine road, it just took some time, okay. But let's see, once this is up and running, this thing is, <clears throat> yeah, I don't really understand the whole, I don't know where I see my admin. Like when I hover here, it says admin 40, but I don't know, no, oh, here we go. Admin, 39. Target, 12. 
That makes no sense. It's producing way more than that. It's gonna have 56. Oh, it's gonna have 24 workers at it, okay. Well, let's, let's do that. Can they really work high, that much workload to 24 workers? Well, it seems like it. It doesn't doesn't look like it takes 25 workers, 24 workers. But, I mean, yeah, let's throw a whole bunch of people in here. So we have a ton of administrators. So the target is 80, apparently. Let's go back here then. Okay, we have some admin to work with now. Give me a much higher level of this. So that cost us money to do, which is still tanking. Well, our net is our net is positive now. We are paying for those mercenaries, but our net is positive. Okay, so we're building the new builders. And that takes takes a moment. Recruiters, bolster your workforce with support from the capital. Okay, so that gives a ten percent workforce bonus if we have enough build points for it. Which hopefully we will once this finishes. How much is it giving us? Let's see when it finishes. It's up to two, which does nothing. Okay, t one is... One just lowers it. And this gives you global build points, which is pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Look, there's stuff. Okay, so it is now exporting... Now that it's actually profitable, it's exporting coal, mushrooms, and fruit to us. Okay. Well, forget fruit. We've got fruit under control. What I want is mushrooms. Forget everything except, like, fruit. Mushrooms, rather. And then what we'll do is, when we need to expand stuff we can't make locally more, like coal, because we've maxed out our coal mines, that's when we can focus on this stuff. Nice. Okay, now we have some loads of spare build points all of a sudden. Okay. Now let's try and make sure they're happy. This doesn't take many build points for this. But our, our, money, our money is tanking, even though it said we were net positive. So I think it's lying to us. Oh, that's net in that category. Okay. So we have to disband this army. Now, how happy are they going to be without the army present? Still relatively cheerful, except these guys. I don't like the fact that there's farms. Okay, so they like... They don't like what is the, there. Okay, can we exile them? Can we just kick them out? There's, there's literally... I mean, there's a hundred of them. But let's, let's kick them out. Enabling an edict has a global effect on your whole kingdom. The affected race will have a increased loyalty in all regions. Okay, don't do that. We have some Dondorian burrows. Yeah, they're not loyal, but the whole place is still happy and loyal, right? Where's loyalty? Is this loyalty? It's weird. I can hover over all these, but not this one. Oh, there we go. Support towards your majesty. 20%. Is 20 high or is 20 critically low? I don't really know. Okay, and we've produced... Are you still at 100% workload? Yeah, we produced way more... Uh, but we are short on some humans, so bring some more in. Okay, so this place is producing, what, 600 a day, a, a month? A second? What is this, 600? <clears throat> oh, we can see now taxes. Okay, it might actually be a day. Jesus. <clears throat> That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to start selling tons of coal because we're importing it all from that place. So that also means we can, you know, up our, our metal usage as needed. Pretty cool. Okay, and the mushrooms, we don't have actually have anywhere to store them. So I'll just, I guess we'll just store them in the central warehouse. No, we should store them down near the dwarves that actually like to eat them. Like here. Store the mushrooms here, and you... Where's the eatery? It is here. You're allowed to serve mushrooms now. Cool. And then the uh, Dondorians will be happier because they uh, they like mushrooms. Actually, don't humans like mushrooms too? Yeah, humans, you can have mushrooms too. These eateries can start serving shrooms. Cool. Now, what else can I do with my new my new place? Yeah, so the loyalty here is still going down. They just don't like the fact that there's others. The police are helping. Why don't we upgrade the police? 25 boy build points and 10 admin. We can afford that. We need a better level police. And then let's get some... What's this? Build points and admin, but more workforce. Workforce is not what we're short on right now. Um, more mushroom farming? 
Okay, workforce is about to be what we're short on. So let's get a significant increase to that. This is interesting. This is a kind of fun mechanic. I don't know um, what we can do best here. Will this help mushroom farms? Yeah. Yeah, give me a give me a irrigation upgrade to help with those mushroom farms. And this increases what? Region capacity. Okay, where is region capacity? Area, 140. Tourists. We should have an in to attract tourists. Not a high priority right now. Where is the, the region capacity? How do I how do I deal with that? Presumably it's this. The area is 140. But so these coal mines producing 600. They can produce between 0 and 2,000 coal. Depending on, I guess, all the potential bonuses it could have. Okay, so irrigation is done. It should crank up the amount of mushrooms they're making. Let's see. 86 goes to. We can upgrade it yet again. Hmm. It seems to be working though, right? And then, what? This just makes everyone more loyal, right? Yeah. We can afford this. It's going to take quite a bit of workforce, but I do want to make sure people stay loyal. Let's go to Band Station. Hopefully that'll be enough for the Dathomirians. And then... Tourists, first ever tourists arrived, sure. What else can we build here? Windmills. Use power that boosts industries. Sewers for more health. Well, health is perfect. So it's, I guess it's going to be an issue once it gets bigger. Better roads. What do better roads do? Oh yeah, I should also check. Who do we now border? Okay, still just the same two. Interesting. Why don't I border these guys? So maybe we should conquer these guys too. I mean, look, these guys are loving being conquered. Although, I don't know, 30 support, 30 support might be terrible for all I know. <laughs> uh, we don't need more healthcare right now. What do better roads do? They increase the proximity, if that makes sense. It's like communication efficiency from M&T. Um, better mushroom farming? So what are we making with this right now? <clears throat> I mean, what, do I, what am I actually short on? What am I likely to be short on in the future? Well, I'm short on stone right now. I bet that's because there aren't enough insects. Yep. We have 50 insects. I'm going to yoink this up. Excuse me. Where are my workers? There we go. Still short, huh? Really? Okay. Give me yet more. 700 insects in our place. Fish your eyes. Still not enough. Wow. We have a lot of freaking soldiers, huh? We do have a ton, <laughs> to be fair. Do we have space for 200 melee training? No. We have more than that. Oh, I never raised this value. Okay. Which is going to cause some issues on the whole worker front. But yeah, coal and stone basically shutting down. <laughs> Let in yet more. And then what are they not happy about? <clears throat> Not enough stone, right? Yeah, fair enough. We should also get him some drink, potentially. Oh, hey, look, mushrooms are coming in. Oh, and we are short on fruit right now. Okay. Well, are these being worked? No. Get me a few more elves then. What are the elves not happy about? They're probably not happy about being around everyone down here. They would like some more statues. Wow, these guys want... Does everyone want these? Trees divided by your whole population. I didn't know about this monument section. You want a ton more humidifiers. That's one thing you could go for. I mean, I don't really see any reason not to do that. Like, sure, have... Have a bunch more. We have. It's just clay. We can afford to put a ton of these in public spaces. That's fine by me. And then, likewise, the elves like trees. Oh, they'll get trees. Oops. Not there. They will line the roads. They will line everything the elves love with trees. That's fine by me. That'll cheer them up. <clears throat> Let's see. Trees. 
Yeah, but they don't. <laughs> it only gives them point 0.1 at most. Okay, never mind. It's probably not worth it. <laughs> okay, is this place still... Okay, it's pretty loyal now. I mean, everyone, everyone's fully positive on loyalty. So I have to imagine support is going to trend up. Um, I mean, sure. You know what? I'm short on fruit. Should we go some grow some fruit? See see how that goes. Put that up to level two, and then even more planned labor. Sure. Can't do this because you need more workforce. What else can we do to help uh, farms? Could put windmill help. No, it's just for mining. Um, oh, we could put a barracks in. Should give us some conscripts. It's interesting. I like that you have like the nurseries and the hatcheries for most stuff, but then it's just burrows for Dondorians because you can't make new ones. <laughs> oh, I put the wrong thing. I meant to put a fruit orchard. This gives 75 fruit. What this gives. What's the base on this one? Uh, da -da -da. Can't tell. Well, we'll put both in and then just see see how it goes. Right, but yeah, meat and fruit are both looking a little touchy right now. So let's, uh, let's dig some new canals. Four is the gap there. We're going to be getting quite close down to uh, quite close down to the insect population in the south. That's not ideal, but we can make do. do, do. Running out of water table, and this area is not very fertile. This bit is, but most of that area we've just worked on is not ideal. Okay, and a new fruit orchard. And then I guess what you do in the fullness of time is maybe we just stop doing like primary industry in the capital. I guess we stop expanding primary industry in the capital. We don't need to get rid of what we already have. Because we import it all from regions, I guess. How that will, uh, how that will shake out. This is a huge fruit increase. What I don't know is if we kind of, is there anything reciprocal? It's all we use to to govern the other areas is administration. We don't have to kind of send them goods or anything. It's another twenty-two people that can work there. We are getting some fruit now. I mean, look at this. We're getting. On our harvest sessions, we're getting 7,000. That's a lot of freaking fruit. Stop stop exporting fruit. Where's, where's my fruit export happening? Here it is. Stop, stop that. Don't export fruit. And I think what we were doing is basically we were harvesting so much and then exporting a bunch, but then because we weren't storing enough, we were exporting the stuff that we actually needed to get us through the, you know, the periods where we didn't have any. Because it all been, you know, because it comes seasonally or yearly rather. So we weren't really accounting for the fact that there's only a yearly harvest. <clears throat> so, I mean, this place seems pretty stable, right? I mean, should I spend all my admin on one city? Probably not. Um, but I don't really see the reason to not keep upgrading it. <clears throat> Dondorian population is slowly growing. Give me, I mean, sure, give me more more fruit. Can't afford this because there's not enough workforce. I guess at some point you hit a point where you can't do anything. Right? We don't have enough workforce for this, we don't have enough build points for this. So we are, let's just spend the rest of this and then maybe we just consider this good. Like it makes us some mushrooms, some fruit and some coal. And, and we're just happy with that. Not enough workforce for that. Could get some more irrigation. Yeah, another boost on, on that stuff, sure. And then I guess if we need more workforce, we should put more human nurseries for for more more people although actually no, not humans let's do Katorians because Katorians are good at uh, growing stuff <clears throat> right and then I guess you need more region capacity is region capacity what controls uh, people yeah there you go region capacity the target is 2.4 whereas if I upgrade this to let's say 2 give 10 base region capacity give a bonus there okay interesting okay well let's um 
let's consider a purchase. Hey, uh, who owes this? Hulagland. I'd like to purchase a region from you. This one. You can have... Yeah, money isn't going to cut it, but... What about a whole bunch of gems? Still not going to cut it. Okay, but I can give you a lot of gems. And then... I got a lot of stored stuff. What do you want? I like fish. I want some... What's expensive here? Yeah, nothing Nothing is really expensive enough. Okay, we need, we need some more. We need to save up some more gems to make this purchase, basically, is what I'm learning. But that's fine, because we, we're... You know, look at that. Gems are on the up and up. How many of you guys have jobs now? Almost all of you. And you're not completely thrilled. What's wrong with the Dondorians? <clears throat> like some more education? No, you wouldn't like some more education, but could do some more education. This is still fully used. This degradation is getting pretty high. I never put any janitors in this new section down here. That was a mistake. Let's put a big janitor over here. Because the uh, this is where the pigs live, after all. Do do do. It's eighty percent efficiency. Beef it up a bit. Ah, so close, <laughs> so close, and yet so far. Let's find it out here. That there, and I can throw a utility in this corner, like so. And I can have doors here and here. Good. I should keep this nice and maintained. I can't believe it's still 100, 250 students. Like everyone's still not reached the education levels that we're looking for. I mean, we do have a freaking ton of insects. So it does make sense. It's going to take some time to educate all of them. This place still really happy. The fruit is uh, it's topped off. Getting a regular taxes of 700 fruit. So we're almost getting taxes income just from fruit, just on fruit to actually match all of our needs. Right, I was doing an investigation on what we're not exporting that we could be. I never really saw it through. Uh, this was going to export herbs. Just 5%. And then coal we are exporting. Or are we exporting? Uh, it looks like yes, but not recently. I guess because we've been using it. Pottery, we don't appear to be exporting. Uh, we're not exporting weapons and armor. Let's just accept that. So export some pottery for me. And yeah, cut stone as well. When we have excess, that's fine. Metal? I'd rather not export metal. Let's export tools when we have spare. Because, you know, spare metal should just be being turned into tools, basically. Metal spores slower than tools. I'd rather export the stuff that spoils faster. And then we have furniture here. What else could I be... Let's put another... An export depot down here. Might be able to fit them in. Yeah, not well. Upgrade this new housing over here. Our clothes look like they're becoming a bit of an issue. Yeah, just recently. After that new influx. Well, they have a lot of equipment. I'd really rather not pay. 300 people? We have better equipment than that. I decline. We need to make a lot more money, is uh, what I'm seeing here. Maybe we should make some jewelry and sell that. What does jewelry sell for? 800? What about jewels? 300, yeah. So we can make it pretty, quite a lot more expensive by making jewelry. We have a lot of tech, by the way. Let's get uh, some more soldiering tech. And then, oh yes, there's some admin bonuses, aren't there? Yeah, give me... Give me a couple of admin ones, a few of the cheap maintenance ones, some spoilage, and some better trade ones. Smithy upgrades. Oh, carry capacity. I should have got that a long time ago. Let's just crank that. Right, I never even got the coal minus bo the mining bonuses at all. My bad. Buy a bunch of them. Okay. Okay, let's uh, just quick save in case this fight goes horribly wrong. Right, so now here, with that new increase, carrying capacity is significantly increased. Good. And then the fullness of time, once the population rises enough, 
the workforce will rise enough and we can we can build more stuff. So you forgot to pay. Uh, yes, hello. There's 400 of them. I'll just, I think I'll just attack them with the garrison. I f I'm feeling pretty good. If we lose, I'll just raise a mercenary army. I should have raised a mercenary army beforehand, really. Yeah, this is actually pretty stupid of me. We should have raised the mercenary army first. That's fine. Moral of the story is I should end the episode. I've been I've been focused on this game for too long. I should end the episode. Go play Liza P for a bit. <laughs> Come back refreshed. All right, sprint. And up and at them, boys. Let's get it. They have a catapult, interestingly. Look at them charging in. Glorious. Glorious. Instantly, our guys evaporate on impact, mostly. <laughs> Then once we're actually in there a bit. Do we think we have gold armor because we're up to eight? We have more than twice as good armor, so. Yep, yeah, they are melting. Glorious. Shouldn't have taken too many casualties. I don't know why the auto resolves are so bad. But uh We'll see. Yeah, eight casualties. No big deal. Boom. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this place appears stable now. So that's just some, you know, a bunch of free coal per day, some mushrooms and fruit every day for, for just a, a couple of workers in administration. Nice. So I think we should basically try and like spread out and conquer this whole area. And just, I think one thing we can have it do is just provide, can we make bread here? No, just, just grain. But we could just get tons of grain coming in and then feed people just staggering amounts of food could be good could be good but for now i'm going to end the episode because i think my my decision making is becoming impaired <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll see you next time where we will work on ways to try and radically increase our income see you then